Down the left hand side of the combine, obviously you have the belts. Please make sure that with all the belts, the tensioners are correct. Some of them, you do have the overlap or the end on end tensioners. These tensioners, you cannot miss the two. If the end on end, always make sure they're touching and the overlap, obviously they are overlapping and the two sides meet. On the left hand side here, you have your grease nipple bank. The lower one will do the grease nipples for the drum. The rear grease nipples, this is where you'll find you'll have the rotor bearing grease nipple. Now there's only one grease nipple for the left hand side and one grease nipple for the right hand side. Please only a couple of pumps in these a day, not 10 or 20 as there's new bearing in there. You say these other tensioners down the side here all have their set values so always make sure that they set correctly. Always a good idea as well to make sure you blow it down so that there's no debris left behind. Going up to the top, the main drive itself now, there is no pulley that you need to blow out and keep clean. Um, it's now a clutch, so that's all gone. And the tensioning of the main drive belt is now done hydraulically, just like we have on, our, on another machine. Going towards the back, same again, and also down to the bottom, tensioning for all the belts going down into your SIP drive. For the battery box, there is a light on the front. If the light is illuminated, please make sure that you do not turn off the isolator. This light, when it's illuminated, is telling you that the machine is trying to carry out its cooling for the AdBlue injector. So the light's on, it's doing its process. When the light's off, it's finished. And only when it's off do you need to turn off, or can you turn off the isolator, not before. Inside the battery box, there's two batteries. And the two batteries, please use them as two batteries, not as one individual battery. There's an extra space at the front for pipes and parts, your toolbox, etc. underneath. If you do need to jump start, you will have to make sure that you use one battery's one, one battery's other. Do not connect 24 volt, because 24 volt you can damage the machine itself. For the unloading tube, there's a number of differences here. Um, there are some tensioners there, the measurements in the book. Please keep an eye on the chains and also make sure the chains are lubricated correctly as well as the tensioning for the belt up top. There is no other grease nipples further up 